Hey guys, Mrs. Talk Techie here, and I'm finally done. This is Bitmoji, a comprehensive guide, and I'm super excited because this has been quite a labor of love, but I'm really excited that I'm able to finish this, and most importantly, that I'm able to share it with all of you guys. There are a couple of ways that you guys can go ahead and utilize this, and I just kind of want to walk you through them. First and foremost, I do want to thank you all for your patience. For those of you who were waiting on this resource, I do appreciate it. Please know that I did put my best effort into this. I wanted to give everyone quality tutorials that you guys could in turn take and use as your own professional development. You will receive a copy of this resource and it is editable. The only thing I do ask in return is for you guys to give me a little bit of a shout out and most importantly, tag me in any social media platform so that I can see your amazing products once they're finished because that is my affirmation. That's what fuels me. And with that said, I wanna show you really quick all that it has to offer. So here you have a little guide and outline to what the videos entail, starting from number one, downloading the app, to number 12, creating these elaborate resources for your kiddos for remote learning. I'm gonna walk you through very quickly through each one because I think it's important for you guys to know what each section has to offer. Starting with the first one, Within the slides presentation, I've already embedded the videos. Of course, you can always go to my channel, Mrs. Talk Techie, and find the playlist titled Bitmoji, a comprehensive guide. So you can do that as well, but these have them all outlined for you. So if you are someone who is starting from scratch, don't have a Bitmoji yet, this is where you'd start off with number one. It walks you through downloading the app and customizing your own avatar. Moving on to number two is now saving that Bitmoji to your camera roll and then uploading it to your drive. Number three is the famous Bitmoji Chrome extension. However, I know that not all school districts allow this Chrome extension. That's why video number two is so important. But this one does let you know all the cool things that you can do with that Chrome extension. Now, number four is what a lot of us are probably looking for, which is creating those virtual classrooms. Now, this video is so detail-oriented. It walks you through step-by-step step how to create that virtual classroom. But most importantly, every time we add something to our classroom, there is a neat trick, tip, web tool that you're gonna be introduced to. So I really highly recommend that you don't skip out on this one because it is so beneficial. It teaches you a lot of skills when utilizing Google Slides. Additionally, what else can you do once you learn how to create these digital backgrounds? It shows you how you can add them to a Padlet or make your desktop wallpapers. And of course, once we go back into the classroom, if you do have devices, how you can utilize this video to help you organize your student devices. Number five is actually a personal favorite of mine because one of the things that happens and one thing that I've been seeing a lot on different social media platforms is, well, now that I have my virtual classroom, what do I do with it? There's a huge controversy as to whether or not we're wasting time just creating this. We're not. It's a matter of how innovative can we get with these virtual classrooms so that they can facilitate our instruction and enhance student learning. This video walks you through not just how to hyperlink different things, but how to create instructional videos that are really gonna provide that pedagogical continuity in a virtual setting. So again, this is my favorite video. They, I even created offshoot videos to this one. So you'll see on the right hand side, Bitmoji, a lesson cycle. So that talks about our pedagogy and how we shouldn't let remote learning limit us as far as our teaching style and our best practices. In addition to that, there's another video for the littles 
I'm talking about pre-K, that can easily be adapted to all grade levels and all subject areas. But I want you guys to really take a look at this one to see how we can easily incorporate those lessons that we were already doing in our classrooms and take it into a virtual setting. This video, Pick Your Bitmoji Class app, is something that evolved throughout the summer as teachers started to realize, well, I have so many virtual classrooms, I don't wanna be constantly sending links to my kids. How can I compile them? How can I collect them into one so that it makes it easier for our kids to be able to access them all? So here, I give you options on which one will work best, whether it is creating an actual class app from scratch, or embedding your already virtual made classrooms, or even taking a look at Google Sites. And number three is my personal favorite, and I walk you through how easy it is to create that. I even have an offshoot video as well if you wanna take a look at that. This is something fun. If you're using the learning management system, Google Classroom, you've probably seen this a lot on social media, and it's animating your Google Classroom header. I love this, guys. It was a lot of fun. And again, the controversy is, well, where is the actual learning benefit? Where is it going to directly enhance student learning? Not necessarily, guys, but it will facilitate students. You'll see different examples of what teachers have done to make kids be able to access their Google Classroom a lot easier. But most importantly, as educators, we're growing professionally because we learn so many new skills when using Google Slides. The next one is something fun. If you have Snapchat, you, then you probably know that there is a Bitmoji integration. And some of the cool things that it has is that your Bitmoji can dance and you can actually take, extract that Bitmoji from there, make it into a transparent video, and then add it within your virtual classrooms. This one shows you how to do that. Again, something fun for both teachers and students. Number nine is creating Bitmoji stickers. And I walk you through how to create your simple Bitmoji stickers to how to create elaborate ones that when kids click on them, they have an audio file of yourself providing instruction. We utilize Google Drawings in this video. So if you notice throughout all the videos, there's a lot of additional web tools and Google apps that we're integrating. So we're really becoming proficient when it comes to utilizing the Google ecosphere, everything involved within Google. Again, another one I love, I'm sorry, I can't help it, app smashing. And app smashing is when you take several apps or maybe even web tools to create one final product. So here I show you how we can utilize Bitmoji and Chatterpix, or even a really cool web tool known as Poster My Wall. And of course, I love quizzes, so how to create memes using our Bitmojis as well. So these have three little mini videos in there. Another fun thing that I thought, how else can we We'll collaborate and work together with our teachers utilizing Bitmoji. This is something I saw right when we were finishing up remote learning this past school year. And it's called Where's Your Bitmoji Teacher? And it's just a fun little collage where you can collaborate with your colleagues and get their Bitmojis and then do a fun activity. And I walk you through the entire thing, of course, providing a template as well. A recent favorite of mine, I know I keep saying that, I just can't help it is Bitmoji Escape Room. And it's, it's a twist on an escape room slash scavenger hunt. And if you're ready to start remote learning and you wanna give your kids an activity that's gonna showcase the different skills that, that are gonna be necessary during remote learning, plus they're gonna to get to know you and you're gonna to get to know them, then this is the video for you. So I do recommend you watch this one. It's a lot of fun all at the same time. And most importantly, we get to hear from our kiddos utilizing Flipgrid, which really empowers student voice. So check it out. And there is a little offshoot video, four minutes, on how to really take that activity to the next level. And finally, the Bitmoji Advanced Activities. The mystery time reveal, guys, yes, it's on time, telling time, but you can easily customize this and, and tailor it to your instructional needs. So this one shows how to create kind of like a mystery reveal where you hover over perhaps the answer, which is not there, but you hover over with a magnifying glass and then it reveals the answer. So check that out. It's actually quite easy once the mystery is revealed on how to do it. The next and final one is the digital flipbook. 
a personal favorite again i know i can't help myself this flip book is a labor of love but i guarantee you that once you learn the ins and outs of how it works you're going to want to do a flip book for every activity and the kids are going to love it because it's going to be personalized they're going to have to answer certain questions to move on to the next activity so it's kind of like a gamified version of your traditional flip book so I hope you guys like that one. Those are your advanced activities. And finally, with a humble heart, I wanna say thank you guys for all the love and support for everyone that tags me with their finished products. That makes my heart smile. This, like I said, has been a labor of love and um, I wanna thank everyone who inspired me to create these videos and I hope that they inspire others. My goal is to, to reach outside of my classroom and empower other teachers, those of you who are struggling, those of you who feel maybe overwhelmed or lost. I hope that I might have a little bit of impact on your professional growth when it comes to technology integration. Thank you so much. If you need anything from me, please, by all means, feel free to reach out to me. I will always do my best to respond in a timely manner. With much love and appreciation, thank you guys. Have a good one, and we'll see you guys later.